And I think right now, having seen Foggy perform this evening, when Matt Dunnigan does get healthy, not a bad combination. Far from the Argos being conservative, but if they have to settle for a field goal, it's not all that bad here. Their lead is seven. Foggy throws it up. Flag, it's caught anyway by Daryl Smith. Ricky Foggy's sixth touchdown pass of the night. Smith's third touchdown catch. And the Argos are safe again, apparently. Well, talk about an old-fashioned shootout. It doesn't come any better. He starts Smith to the inside. Runs a little bit of a wheel pattern. And as soon as he breaks up the field, the ball's thrown. He's got the good position on the coverage of Junior Robinson. The ball's underthrown just a hair. And Smith, as we have seen him do in the past, can fight and take the ball away from what could have been a knockdown or an interception. So it's very likely that both Craig Ellis and Daryl Smith will break the single season record for touchdown receptions. Smith is now at 15, one behind Edmonton's Craig Ellis. Get to Not quite up to scratch tonight. <laughs> They're scoring at the Sky Dome, 68 points, then 70, 53 tonight. And what's the total, about 902 or something? <laughs> so when you add up all of the scoring points and rushing yardage that Ricky Foggy has produced, it might be one of the great all-time games by a CFL quarterback. And he's not finished. Interestingly, Hamilton's ability to stay close has undoubtedly kept Foggy in this game, and it's going to help his numbers at the end of it. It's also going to make him a better quarterback because he really hasn't had the chance to weather a full game, be in the situations that he's been in so far, get ahead, have someone come back, and all these are little tests for him in a maturing process. Well, Ricky Foggy needs one more touchdown pass to tie the Argos club record, which is held by Tobin Roque. The clock moving under three minutes with the Argos holding a 14-point lead. One more touchdown makes this the second highest scoring game ever in the CFL, and we well remember not so long ago the highest scoring game. Right here at the Sky Dome again. Clemens still in his feet. Down the sidelines. Could this be the touchdown that makes it number two? He is out at the one-yard line. And one more yard on the next play, or the next one after that, makes it the second-highest scoring game ever. We've seen spectacular efforts this evening, some from number 14, Foggy. But as usual, Mike Clements has the ability to become scary. Look at this. They've got him surrounded. They've got him down almost. Good block downfield by 88 Mazzotti. He's just a heck of a football player. Fans mad that it was not ruled a touchdown. He's been thwarted on three separate and successive tries, and he won't get the opportunity on third down. Matthews yelling in or sending in a play and the possibility of Rick Foggy going to the air does give him a chance once again to tie the record the club record by Tobin Rowe I shouldn't assume everybody remembers Tobin Rowe <laughs> I, I do well I have to think the play that will be called will give Foggy if he's in control of the ball an option, either throw or run, because that's when he's the most dangerous. He's on the move, there's a flag, tossing to the end zone, and it is caught on the rebound. If the penalty's against Hamilton, Foggy joins Tobin Road in the Argo record book. It's going to stand offside Hamilton. Seven touchdown passes for Ricky Foggy. And who caught it? Do I have to ask who caught it? <laughs> Foggy gets to the outside. Here's his option. He's got lots of help in front of him. Bob Skemp, Smelly. 
but he sees the chance to throw the ball, and of course, it was, <laughs> it almost touched the ground. Smith wanted to wait till it got a little bit closer. He's got 15 that were thrown to him, Smith, this season, and one that wasn't for 16, and a tie for the league lead with Craig Ellis, and the scoring derby continues, and yes, we were here for the highest scoring game ever to start September, and at the end of September, we're here for the second highest scoring game ever, both at the Sky Dome, both Argo victories in the same month. I'm surprised after the games that we've seen in this stadium that the roof can stay on. Lots of protection. That's the delay reaction. You gotta wait till Smith gets in there and Wouldn't surprise me if Matthews made that signal soon as Foggy threw the ball, the ball the way things have been going. The month of September for the Argos at the Sky Dome. We're talking about the two games that produced all the points in total. And there was another one, and that was 70 for the Argos against Calgary. Two ex-Lions who've had all sorts of fun here in Toronto.